Now with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So earlier we were talking a little bit about, you know, the dry conditions here, but southeast Texas, they're not really experiencing that, right, Josh? Yeah, and I mean, they got tons of rain this week, and we missed out on it. And so when the new drought monitor came out, we were placed under abnormally dry category here in San Angelo. There is some moderate drought sneaking into Runnels and Coleman County, also some severe drought sneaking into Sterling County and uh, extreme drought over there towards Glasscock County. So we need some rain. We've got a shot at a little bit of it as we go into the weekend. But first, we'll have to deal with some pretty big heat. The big improvement, though, is going to come down here in South Texas, where they had that drought getting towards severe and moderate down there along the coastline. There were even times of extreme drought. This includes uh, Monday's rainfall, which is why you're seeing some of that improvement. It doesn't calculate all the rain that fell. And this is all the rain that fell just from this one storm system alone. You can see a very large swath of heavy rain from South Texas all the way up towards Corpus Christi and towards Houston, down in the Rio Grande Valleys where they were hammered pretty hard. 12 and a half inches in Los Fresnos, 15 inches down there in Wesico where they had all the flooding, 16 inches in McAllen, and that is 75% of our total rainfall that we get in a year. Continuing on up the coast, Corpus Christi picked up 9 to 10 inches, 15 inches in Port Aransas, the same place that was slammed by Hurricane Harvey, 12 inches in Falfurius and Alice, and then 9 inches over there towards Victoria, 4 inches towards Port Lavaca. So a large part of South Texas is getting a lot of rain, and it wasn't even from a tropical storm. It was just from a tropical wave, and why wasn't it named like a tropical storm? Well, it's because it just wasn't organized. You can just see how messy this is. Just little features, popping up rain showers in the middle of different spots, and just with all the energy, all the moisture down there, that translated into a ton of rain. We missed out on it, but again, we do have a shot as we go into Saturday. It's a small shot, but it's still a shot. It's the first day of summer today, and heat's going to be coming back in time for your weekend. Again, we will have that rain chance coming up on Saturday. This is what I'm talking about when I say heat. We're at 102 tomorrow will be your high temperature, up to 106 Friday and 102 on Sunday. So pretty warm temperatures coming back in. It's pretty nice currently. We're still in the mid 80s, 86 in St. Angelo, 90 degrees currently in Ozona and 85 in Sterling City. And the reason it's been warmer today is because we have some drier air coming in. We've got those dew points in the 50s, dew points in the 60s down in southeastern portions of our viewing area. But with the westerly winds coming in tonight and also into tomorrow, that brings that dry, warm air. And that's why we're really going to be cranking the heat up. The good news for South Texas is that tropical low has moved off into Mexico. They'll see in coming towards that rain, just the last gasp of it coming right there. And then we've got a cold front to our north and a cold front over there towards Denver as well. This one to our north is going to still be there tomorrow, kind of squeezing the atmosphere. And with the south and southwest winds, that's going to really warm us up, mainly sunny and even hotter for tomorrow. Talking about temperatures tonight, getting down into the mid 70s. Normally we're at 70 degrees and then tomorrow climbing up towards 102. Normally we're at 93, a good 10 degrees above normal with those westerly winds. Take a look at your extended forecast though because it's going to be getting pretty toasty as we go into Saturday. We're going to be at 102 tomorrow. We're at 106 Saturday in time for your boat races. There's a 20% chance of a stray storm, but it's not really a really good chance. We're just going to see those temperatures staying around 106. The good news is if you're heading out to the boat races, if you're going in the morning, it's not going to be too bad. We're going to see those temperatures starting off in the 70s. We're at 86 at 10 a.m. Saturday and then 101 by the time you get in the afternoon. You're going to really be wanting to drink that water in the afternoon. 102 on Sunday, we're at 99 Monday, and then we get some drier air coming in or some more moisture coming in, bringing more clouds, and that means those temperatures cool back down into the upper 90s. And don't forget, by Thursday, guys, sign up for your winning with the weather prize. Buy tonight at midnight for your chance to win that pair of wireless Sono speakers. We're announcing the winner live from Budget Blinds tomorrow on KCN News at 6. But Looking pretty toasty for those boat races. Going to be wanting to be drinking a ton of water if you go out, putting on the sunscreen, and having a cool place to go if you get overheated because it's going to be hot. Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure some of those boat riders wouldn't mind if they fell in the water. Oh, it's, <laughs> you know, probably not. When it's 106, you get water every way you can on you. you pour True. it on you, throw it on you, jump in it, <laughs> right. have someone hose you down. Yeah, that whatever. sounds nice. Super soaking. Yeah, and speaking of those boat races, later in the show, we'll tell you what you can.